Alright, so I've, I haven't put up a lot of videos in a while, and I've uh, been going through some games and reviewing the rules, and, and I, at 7th edition has had so many small changes um, that has really, really switched up the way to play the game. You know, plenty of people will talk about the, the unbound stuff. Okay, th that's a change, and it's potentially a big change, but um, short of someone who buys some extra riptides, uh, it didn't change a whole lot for many people um, in terms of being able to play sort of crazy lists. I mean, you could already play some pretty weird stuff, um, but it loosened it up some. Okay, but the, the big thing I was going to talk about is, is, a, is what I consider to be a, a minor change that has a humongous effect in some units in the game. And I recently played a couple games where I, I tested this out, and it, it is a big change. And that's the way that uh, independent characters work. So in the seventh edition rules versus the sixth edition rules, there's there's a there's a, a little change. It's just a few words, but it really changes the way that some of these characters play. And that's if you look at sixth or fifth edition. Um, so the last two editions, actually I think even fourth, but I don't have the rules with me. Um, it says that independent characters cannot join squadrons or units that consist of a single model. Um, so that was that was the wording in, in the previous several editions. In the seventh edition rules, this is not the case. Um, it doesn't say you can't join units that consist of a single model. So now, some of your single model units that previously had some real limitations uh, because they just got killed, they got so much better. For example, the mask. Um, you know, she was she was always a, a, a powerful unit, but but she was she was just a glass cannon because she was weak, didn't have Eternal Warrior, and um, and and she was always on her own. Same thing with Mephiston. The poor guy's got a no invulnerable save. Um, same thing with things like the Eversur Assassin, and I, that's the unit I just tested out. But now you can take independent characters and you can join to them. So you have Mask, you could join Heralds of Slanesh to Mask. Um, you uh, you could add Chaos, well you can't add Chaos Space Marines to her because she has in the instability rule. But uh, for other units, like say the Eversur Assassin, the one I tried out, he can be the central guy and then you can add, uh, and this is the... the, the list, which I'll probably not play again, but um, I took an Eversur Assassin, and then I added Saint Celestine, two priests from the Adeptus Seriatus, um, two Inquisitors, and Codius to the one Eversur Assassin, and then launched them out of a, a flyer. So, you, you know, um, there's some pretty devastating combos you can put into these things. But now that you can do that, say, Mephiston, who used to always die on his own, he can now have priests added to him, for example. They have a four-up and vulnerable save. Or he could have other Space Marine independent characters, like captains and chaplains and things, attached to him. And a chaplain attached to Mephiston is pretty good. A priest is maybe better, because it has an invul save, and it still gives him hatred. Um, so I think that's a, a huge change for these new rules. That it just involved a few words. I've noticed that many people haven't picked up on this, so maybe I'm wrong and there's hidden somewhere else in the book, but they did pretty good at consolidating the rules. And it looks like independent characters can now join units that consist of just a character. 